Hello everyone, it's Ethan from the Orlando Tours. We're here at Universal on Thursday, May 25th. We haven't been here in a while. Actually, we were here, I think, last Thursday. And then, um, but yeah, we just came from SeaWorld. Got my 50th ride on the new Pipeline coaster that opens this weekend. But it's not even open yet, we got 50 rides on it. So if you want to see some of my Pipeline content, definitely check that out on my channel. But we're about to head into Universal. Lots of stuff going on around the park. We got a brand new addition to the park today. We're gonna go check it out, so set in. City Walk. We have a brand new sign for the Universal's Great Movie Escape, which is down that way. And they're advertising the Jurassic World side on this side of the advertisement, partially because it's uh, Jurassic Park's 30th anniversary. And we have a brand new Jurassic Park trivia store that's opened in studios. We're about to go check it out. But yeah, definitely look at this advertisement. It's really neat. And do we have the Back to the Future on the other side? Nope, still Jurassic World on this side. It is pretty uh, windy out today, a little stormy. We've had storms all week. It may rain later. But yeah, if it's a little hard to hear me, it's because of that wind. But yeah, we're coming up onto the arches right now. Just like last time, we were here, the left side of the turnstiles are behind construction walls, and the right ones just got out of construction walls. They were just refurbished. They're still construction walls by guest services, but guest services is still open. The difference is today, it looks like the left turnstiles have like been removed. They will be replaced and rebuilt, but they're just not here right now. Like I said in our video last week, the, the maps, uh, they no longer have Poseidon's Fury on them since it recently closed about two weeks ago or so. We were here for that. Also, oh it looks like God. these uh, construction walls extend all the way down there behind the, the food stand. That's crazy. The first thing I noticed when entering the park after all those construction walls is the Minions Land signage that was just installed yesterday morning. We're now here to see it today. This thing looks really nice. It's similar to the one they have in other um, international universal parks where they have a Minions Land. Um, like last week in our video, we were talking about this whole new Minions Land that was just announced. They had a whole press release and announced a lot of details about some of the new food offerings at the Minions Cafe and about the Villains Con attraction. We're gonna go show you guys that later in today's video. Definitely check out last video, but today we have this cool Minion sign. And I wanna see how this looks lit up at night, but these Minion figurines are really neat looking. We're gonna go around this construction wall as it looks like they still installing some other stuff. But yeah, these things are really neat. I love the details going in. I believe there's supposed to be 20 minions on this sign is what they said. So that's a, that's like seven of them right there, so. Yeah, this thing looks amazing. And if we take a look from across the street, you can see that one on the bottom, that one hanging down by his overall, is pretty neat looking. Now, no opening date has been announced for Villain Con. We will keep you guys posted on that. We should be getting close to team member previews, soft openings, and pass holder previews. Let's head down to Hollywood. We'll continue that way later on. It looks like some of the shows just let out over here, whether that was horror makeup or born. Before we head into the new trivia store, we have mean greets over here. But we're also gonna go check over at the um, Five and Down to see if there's any merchandise uh, changes going on over there. The last few times we've been here, we check out the trivia store. It's just Chucky merch on display. They had a series of See You in the Fog merch right over here that was on display as the main feature when they dropped ticket dates and the announcements and stuff. Um, we're waiting on another house announcement that will come very soon. But let's head into the brand new trivia store. The Jurassic Park trivia store is for its 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park. Today is the pass order previews for this, which started at 12 o'clock. It's now after 2, but we're here to check it out anyways. And we're checking around. They have this uh, dinosaur here. As we exit, we're gonna actually check that out as we exit the store, cause he's pretty cool. That's a really detailed like photo op and display. Let's head into the new store. Let's head in. So this store features a lot of the behind the scenes and making of the movies. So over here we have like a display of how they sculpted like the T-Rex head. And we have like the T-Rex body up here in the ceiling couple dinosaur displays over here. Really neat looking. We have one of the two new wax molds over here. $8 for a wax mold. We're making one right now. Little 
blurry photo, but there's a closer look. Looks really cool. We have a lot of behind the scenes posters over here. I know, that's what I'm looking at. Really neat. Lots of cool merchandise. We have more display stuff. If you're a fan of the movies, this store will be amazing for you. And we have some, a uh, little bit behind the scenes of some of the robot, like mechanisms that went into the dinosaurs. It's amazing. A lot of these props are most likely from the movie as well. We have a Gurg the Llama tribute, like from the previous tribute stores here. He started in the Christmas one. We have more displays over here. We have a whole model set up, showing one of the most iconic scenes from the movie. Lots of cool merchandise everywhere around the store. It's exclusive 30th merchandise. More photos over here. That's some of the Universal sound stages right there. Look how they have a lot of the, the painting and the clay stuff here. Shows how they sculpted the dinosaur. We got scenes from the movie plan. Lots of cool merch here. Lots of merch in this store. Lots of cool magnets. Phone cases. More concept art. Pins, keychains. We got all different fonts for different um, shirts. Lots of cool pins over here. We got mystery pins. We got new lanyards. We got uh, lanyard pouches, shirts, mugs, denim jackets. We have another poster behind the scenes concept art. We have a soda machine. We have brand new in-gen lanyard pouches as well and a little retractable lanyard things. Really neat. Mugs. And of course we have an upstairs like balcony looking stuff decorated as well. A lot of posters up here. We have a little dinosaur head. Little models up here, more concepts. It looks really neat. And around the centerpiece we have more merchandise. And we have a lot more uh, decor over here. This next room looks like a soundstage entrance. We're about to head into it. Let's head in. I love the running theme of these clipboards throughout the store. And it's just really cool details. We have another Gerg the Llama reference over up there. We're about to head into the second room though, like I said. As we're heading into the next room, we have the red light and the soundstage. And of course, we have some decor. I like the goggles here. I like the display cases. And we're heading in. This display case is also really neat. We have more merchandise, or more props in here. And we have some classic Jurassic Park merchandise here. I love these. I'm actually wearing a Jurassic Park shirt myself. We have a raptor here. This is the kitchen scene from the movie. It smells very much like Kong in this room. Or like some HHN house you have that smell. We have a lot of cool generic Jurassic Park uh, merch you could see in like around the resort. We have a cool photo off the toilet scene where the, the dinosaur eats the guy in the toilet. This is really cool. I love the kitchen stuff here. This is neat. All the details going on with the raptor. More merchandise here in the centerpiece. We have Lego sets and stuff. We get the raincoat here. More display stuff. I love all of this. This is really neat. More shirts. We have a Dilophosaurus here. This is neat. I love the rain effects, the paddock effects. This is cool. Yeah, it's just really neat in this room. They did a great job. It's a little crammed over here. A lot of people lined up really tight, but they fit a lot in here and they made it work and the theming is great. There's like so many different sets in this room. I, I really like it. Did a great job. And now we're gonna enter the third room. So in the third room, of course, we have more generic merchandise. We have some, uh, Freestyle cup holders, plushies here, we have a photo op right over here, more merchandise, and of course another wax mold. The detail on this figure is crazy, and I love all the signage here, it's really neat. Here's a closer look at the other wax mold, same price, this one looks really cool, and this is a lot of the same merch from the first room that we already saw. 
the cheater at or the um, raptor over here. Looks like he ate someone. We have an arm on the floor. It's a little hard to see it. There's an arm there. And now we're heading into the uh, one of the last rooms over here. More generic. Uh, Jurassic Park. Got the logo over here. We got JP. And then we have the arch. Really cool that they built a little arch in here. Um, over here, the merch is the same as what we saw in the other rooms. Oh, yeah? And we have some more merch on this side here. And then we have food options. Food options, they look pretty good. We're not going to try any of the food today, but we'll showcase it for you guys. We have the Malcolm brownies. Just the brownies? Little dino eggs. And of course, we got some good Jurassic Park little food, dino DNA, we got some fun stuff. A little sale going on. And these are the prices of all the different food items. Pause the screen to take a look. And further down the store, we have another merch display with InGen back there in the corner. More merch over here. We have another physical model display here. This is really neat looking. I love all the different, like, Tribute and comics all around the wall. Book. It's amazing. This is a really tall display shelf as well. It's all collectible item kind of stuff. And yeah, pretty neat. And of course, around the center, we also have more merch here. Cool uh, shirts, and we got pins on this one. And here's one more look at some of this merch. Before we head out of the store, there might be another display on the way out, too. On the way out, it looks like we have a uh, little coin display. You can get some gold coins and stuff. Pretty neat. Checkout counter area has really good theming back here. Pretty neat. And of course, we have stuff on the wall, some logos. Now we're heading out of the store. And we're going to show you that cool um, prop right out here by the exit. Right here. Just and here we have the exit signage for the store. And more exit signs. But yeah, this... Uh, this display is really cool. We're gonna head back into the store and get some more photos on the camera. I really like the signage and everything. So my official review of the store, they did amazing with all the theming and all the uh, details and decor inside the store. There's so much to look at, so many details. They're going back through a second time. Um, the props and all the decorations and all the theming and the photo ops, it's really good. Um, I love it and honestly this is one of my favorite trivia stores that Universal has done so far. And it's just, it's great, and so much to look at. You can go through this so many times, see something new every single time. With that being said, it's a, um, this is in the newer location, the Hollywood spot for the trivia stores, and it's very crammed and tight in there. And you have people lining up, crammed over to get photos with the photo ops, and just to navigate through the store. It's very hard, but um, overall, they did a really good job with it. I just um, don't know how it's gonna be during Horror Nights, because Horror Nights the store is always really busy and it gets crammed really quick. But with that being said, today's the opening day of the store, so a lot of people are here. People are gonna be here this weekend for Memorial Weekend, very busy at the parks. And um, other than that, I mean, it, in the slower season when this is open during the summer, it should be quieter in the store, so navigating it won't be an issue. But I'm really glad to see this new addition to the park. It's really good. And of course, here's that, uh, the Triceratops statue, the one that was sick in the movie. They re replicated it right over here outside the store. And like I said, we're heading in a second time just because there's so much to look at. We're not going to film as much, just more photos this time. If I do see something I didn't really notice the first time, I'm going to head back through and show you guys as well. Yeah, I love this store already. See, so we just went in through a second time. Really cool stuff. We might even go in again and live stream this time. I've never done a live stream, but we might do one today. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But I also just uncovered the dinosaur over here. You can get up really close to the uh, Triceratops here at the exit. It's pretty cool. Um, there's so many details in this store though. It's amazing. I don't know if we're going to live stream. I might come back later. Um, we have a new uh, drive-in and dance show here at the, the Mel's Drive-In. We saw it a few weeks ago, the day that Poseidon's Fury closed. It was really cool. Um, right now we're going to head around the park and come back to the store later. Um, it's, this park closes at 7 today. And Islands closes at 8. Right now it's 3.30. So we're going to head a, get a ride of Men in Black, do some other stuff around the park, and then hit the trivia store later. It looks like we might have some crowds already here at the park. So it's pretty busy in this area. Nothing much going on with the kids' own area of the park right now. Let's head over and get a ride of Men in Black, of course. Simpsons is still open. They fixed the wait time, too. 
we have um, some construction walls in front of the attraction. They recently redid the flooring here, and that's all the construction walls are for. They're gonna redo more of the flooring outside the attraction. We'll hop on Men in Black, we're gonna lock her first. It's really bright out right now. We just got off the three rides on Men in Black. The first time my uh, zapper was kind of messed up. The other two times they're just decent rides. Nothing too special though. Didn't max out today, but we have a guide on the channel if you want to learn how to do that. We haven't been in Diagon in a while. It's probably pretty busy in there today. Just gonna walk right past it today. Last time we were here, we showed you guys the new Fast and the Furious photo op as a new movie just came out. Something new, um, well, we have the cars. Then we have these two cars over here, which are brand new just for the promo. And this backdrop is brand new for the photo op, so pretty cool that they added that. So Fast and the Furious has some house construction going on for Horror Nights. Um, we're not really sure what it's going, what's going in that location. Um, Universal did announce Chucky as one of the houses, and some people believe that Chucky might be going in that location. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's the only house we have announced so far. Um, a lot of people think that um, like Stranger Things or Last of Us might be at the event. Could be. Those are really popular shows. So I can see why people want that to be at the event. We will see soon enough as Universal starts announcing some houses. I would say in the next couple weeks we'll get some announcements. Right now it's like one of the last weeks of May, so I'd say halfway through June we should see some announcements. We have the Beat Builders actually coming out right now for a performance. And New York area, the park's really dead right now, but we're gonna head over and get some rides on Mummy. And then from there, we're gonna head on to like the trivia store again. And we're going to show you some uh, new minion stuff as well. Never mind, it looks like uh, Mummy's actually down right now. Looks like it's closed for a uh, temporary delay of some sort. It's just delayed right now. We'll be back later. Right now we have the Marilyn Monroe show going on. We're going to keep heading around the park. It looks like the uh, backdrop for the New York Public Library. The refurbishment's going on for a couple weeks and it looks really good right now. It's really hard to hear me too. So recently they redid this side that looks really nice. And then second they redid this side which also looks really beautiful. The back is being worked on right now. To the right they're still working on that. And the center and to the, or to the left they're working on. To the center and right is the new um, backdrop that they have just installed right now. Looks really good. It's really hot out today. Uh, looks like we have a lot of construction going on over here right now. So um, last time we were here, we saw them working on the like facade, and a lot of the scrims are down for the uh, Minions Cafe. The same scrims are still up right now, but this new popcorn stand right here, the Pop Banana, is uh, installed the signage, and I thought that was going to go over here. So it looks like we're getting a different food stand over here, which will also be Minions themed, and we have some construction work going on right now for that stand. And a lot of the facade work for the streets are being installed right now, so the cafe words are covered up. The marquee signage is going to be installed soon. We'll get a closer look at some of the other stuff going in right now. I love the, the brick texturing going on over here. And this building is supposed to be the Bank of Evil. And you can even see those words right in the center screen that say Bank of Evil. I like the piping going on. That 3D texturing is new. And then of course on the side, we have the new um, cupcake place. And it's called it's going to be called Bake My Day. And they're going to have a lot of sweet treats over here. We have some signage installed right there for that restaurant or for that shop. We're also supposed to be getting an addition, which is an Illumination Theater meet and greet. And I believe that's what this is on the side. We're going to have characters from Sing, characters from Minions, and a bunch of different things. It's going to be really cool, and it looks like they've painted that a new color. I just love all the detailing and texturing that's going into these facade buildings. It looks so realistic. And in the back, the, the blue building, um, it's going to have a whole Illumination logo on the, the other side of this. It's going to look really neat. Rocket's only at a 25 minute wait. That's actually not too bad at all. Silver Riders is open, so we're gonna hop in line. Rocket just went down for a delay. We got stuck on the second mid break, the one um, before you go onto this piece of track here. They gave us a little express pass thing. So yeah, pretty cool. It was neat. Uh, I've never been stuck on the ride. But yeah, that, this was a fun one to be stuck on. That was a fun ride on Rocket. We got a free express pass. Um, like I said earlier, Villain Con, we don't have many details about it. Um, I mean, they, they put out some information. But we haven't got anything uh, like an opening date yet. But I'm assuming these walls are going to come down very soon. They've been here for a while. And this thing seems mostly complete. I swear I hear audio coming from the queue, but I don't think it is. It's probably from the Minions queue across. Yeah, I don't think so, but I can't wait for this thing. And this is the Minion construction wall we saw earlier. The weather's rolling in. 
we're about to head over to the islands. Um, first, we're gonna go show you some new update. I'm gonna go pick something up at guest services to show you guys. And we're gonna head to the trivia store one more time. At least one more time today. Definitely be back again to check it out. It's a really cool store. And yeah, we just got these like later last week or early this week. These things, um, if it's your first time here and you want a Minions pin, definitely pick one of these up. They added this because they got the new Minions land coming. This is really neat looking, I like it. We have our first ever live stream going on on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on stuff like this. This is going to be posted way before this video gets posted. So um, yeah, we're going to be walking to the trivia store. If you want to see the footage from this live stream, definitely check it out on the channel because it's already posted. So um, we just did the little live stream. Um, it was actually vertical because um, I guess I didn't do the right settings in the beginning. Um, we had a decent amount of viewers. It was really short because I kept losing connection in the store, so I didn't want to keep going it. But um, we're in the store again because um, now it's emptier and I can get some emptier photos in the store. So I'm excited for that. It's not as crowded as it was earlier, especially in the third and fourth rooms. The detail's crazy in here, though. I love the theming everywhere in the store. I keep saying it all day, but theming's just so good. I love how this little kitchen door thing is like used for the employees. It's super fun. Definitely quieter in here than earlier in this last room. A lot of see a lot of the stuff. That's gonna do it for us with the trivia store today. We're now gonna head over to Islands. Um, we're not gonna be doing Mummy right now, even though it just did reopen. But um, yeah, let's head over to Iowa. As we're heading to Islands, it looks like we have a storm coming in. It's been rolling in all day. We also have a large crowd of everyone waiting to enter Hard Rock. There must be some kind of artist there tonight performing. But yeah, we're heading around. There's a lot of field trips here today. Right now it's about, um, it's getting close to six. And um, I think this park's either close to seven or eight. But um, I think a lot of them are heading out because the storm's rolling in. And yeah, hopefully the storms will pass by so everything won't be down for too long, hopefully. We still have construction walls over here in Seuss Landing, it looks like. They're just doing some pavement refurbishment from what I understand. We're going to be heading around the park now. A couple weeks ago, like I said, Poseidon's Fury did recently close. We're here for the closing ceremony. Um, as you can see, we have new dining seats up around the entrance to the facade. And they have it roped off. I know people on Twitter were saying that this was not roped and they were able to explore. But it's been roped off, you cannot explore the area right now. The facade is beautiful for, for Poseidon's Fury and they've drained a lot of the water. A lot of the water is slowly draining, the fog mist is still on though. The water is also drained from this area of the facade. Over here, the construction wall, that's where the old exit of the attraction used to be. And we have another construction wall over here. And the construction wall over here is for when you used to enter the building. There it is. That's for the actual building entrance. So they've removed it. So even if the rope was removed over there and you were able to explore, they still have it so you can't enter the actual building. I love all the theming in the whole Lost Continent area. It's really neat. And then we also have t-shirts for Poseidon's Fury still in stock. As you can see, Final Tour t-shirts are still here. They've not run out of them yet. Another update is that the Forbidden Journey ride will be closed on June 8th just for one day, just for a brief refurbishment. As you can see, storm clouds are really rolling in. Last time we were here, a lot of the rides shut down early because of the storms. We're gonna try to hop on Velocicoaster before it did shut down. Hopefully, it won't shut down while we're in line. people waiting out here in the courtyard so I don't know looks like we're currently at an hour wait and I don't know what's going on with single riders but it looks pretty busy for single riders express looks kind of long too we're going to skip out on Velocicoaster today but we're going to show you some of the new merchandise for the 30th we have merchandise like we had in the trivia store but we also have some over here in the um, Discovery Center for Jurassic Park a lot of similar merchandise over here we got the shirts the 30th anniversary merch, it's pretty cool. 
And we have, of course, some Jurassic Park stuff that we've already had here for a while. And we have some cool posters over here as well. These are neat. Pins, the lanyards, a little drawstring bag, more shirts over here. And yeah. We decided to do Velocicoaster. The line looked like it went down a little bit. Still a bit of a line, but not too bad. As you can see, storms are rolling in right now. We got on at the perfect time right before they come in. They even made an announcement saying that they might shut down for storms. So we just got off a nice front row ride. That was amazing. And yeah, we're just gonna head around the park and probably take cover in Camp Jurassic or something because it's about to downpour. Just refilled up my water bottle and I remember that the Coke Freestyle machines were supposed to get an exclusive Jurassic Park flavor this month and I don't see it over here. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out at the other Coke machines around the park. The special flavors for the 30th anniversary Jurassic Park. Also, it looks like it's pouring right now. It's just pouring rain across the lagoon. I don't see lightning right now, so they're still operating the rides. Um, we're gonna see if we can still dash over to the um, Camp Jurassic area. We might have to crack open the umbrella. It's not raining too hard yet, but we're gonna run over to Camp Jurassic before it picks up. We'll pick it up over there. We're now in the lava caves. I love it in here. It's a nice quiet place to hang out sometimes. It does get a little busy in here once in a while. While we're waiting out the storm, thunder is still going on, but it's not raining as hard. It looks like this area is under uh, refurbishment right now. This is like the water splash area on the upstairs portion. It looks like the bottom area is still open. You can't get wet because the top one's closed and so no one can spray you. But we can spray the, uh... oh, is it off? I guess because they're doing construction, they don't want it getting wet upstairs. So I guess these are off right now. I guess we might as well do a ride now since the rain's kind of slowed down, so we're going to do Kong. We haven't done it in a little bit, so we're going to head over. Looks like we have the new Fanta drink at some of the machines here. These are in the Jurassic Park area in front of Thunder Falls. Looks like everyone's headed into Kong, so let's uh, get a ride in there. 25, probably shorter. So Riders is not open at the moment. We're literally pretty much dead in the queue. There's like no one here. About to hop on to our bus. The wait wasn't too bad. It's interesting because um, throughout the ride, as you saw from that clip, I can't record on the ride. But we got a um, an audio clip of uh, the last room in Kong, or the last uh, video screen portion. Audio completely cut out except for the screen audio. So the truck audio was um, not playing. So it was a, definitely an interesting ride through. Um, but yeah, we're heading around right now. There's only 13 minutes till park closed, so Haggard's isn't gonna reopen tonight. I was gonna go over there if it was gonna reopen, but um, only some of the Seuss rides are open right now. And um, we got Spider-Man. So Hulk and Doom are closed, but we're gonna head over to Spider-Man. Might even do Storm Force. I think that one's open for some reason, so we're heading that way now. I guess they're cycling this right now, so maybe uh, Haggard's a reopen. I don't know. We'll keep you guys posted. Right now it's still raining. I don't know about the lightning and thunder in the area, but it's definitely raining right now. I guess we have barricades around here as they work on uh, fixing the water feature. This is the new pass holder lounge. It's open from 11 to 4. I thought it was 12 to 4. So yeah, um, tomorrow's the last day to pick up your Jurassic World magnet. I believe it is. Yeah, so we already picked it up. It's actually a Jurassic Park magnet, but yeah, we're heading out of the park now. We're not heading out, we're heading towards the front. We're gonna go on Spider-Man. Hulk now did a test run. I think Velocicoaster did. So, um, we could all hop in line for a coaster. We're gonna probably get wet, but, um, there's also a chance of it not opening within the next 13 minutes. Let's see. Spider-Man's right here, but, uh, let's see if we can hop on a coaster somehow. I think Velocicoaster, I heard, do a test run, but if Haggard's opens, we're heading over to the back real quick. I think we can hop on. Uh, Demir... Velocicoaster has been doing test runs. I've only seen Hulk do the one. I don't know if Haggard's is doing test runs or not, but we're gonna... Yeah, Hulk's about to launch again. But I want to ride on Haggard, so let's head over there. Hulk now on the app says it's open with the 25 minute wait, even though it's gonna be shorter. We're gonna head over to Haggard's. is still testing, although it doesn't say it's open. Haggard's isn't open, then we're gonna head over to Velocicoaster. 
Lost Coast is now marked as open. I know Haggard does have a longer weather reopening phase, so it might not reopen before park close. Less than 10 minutes before the park closes. We're rushing over there. And we're getting soaked right now. It's literally my socks, my feet, they're wet. I heard thunder. The rides might be shut down again. I hear Haggard's with the test run, so we're heading over there. Looks like it, they're waiting on it to reopen. I know it's, my camera's all screwed up right now, it's because of weather. So, um, we just got off of Hagrid's. We waited about 30 minutes in line because they opened it at uh, two minutes before eight o'clock. And now it's after 8.30, so not bad at all for normal line. They might have even opened the single rider, but we just hopped into normal line to make sure we would get on the ride. Um, I've cracked open the umbrella now. It's still raining, we had a rain ride on Hagrid's. But I got front row motorbikes, so it was really cool. Um, yeah, the queue wasn't too long, and it did, it did take a little bit before they started moving the queue. That's why we had to wait. Um, but really great ride on that today. I haven't done that one in a while, so I'm glad I walked all the way over here. It was worth it. Um, something to note is if you're here during the summer, um, this whole week it's been really rainy. So, um, I mean, expect rain every day in the afternoon starting around like 3 o'clock. It, it will start being stormy and you never know it's very unpredictable so always bring an umbrella always come prepared maybe bring a poncho just be prepared to get wet or to fight out the rain um, plan out your rides accordingly depending on the weather because some rides do shut down for weather and also you know that um, horror nights opening night always rains not up to horror nights yet we should be getting an announcement in a couple weeks but just know, bring that umbrella opening night, you're gonna need it. We're making our way out of the park. It's almost an hour after close, or you know, 40 minutes or so. You can see the rain falling. But yeah, we're trying to stay dry, we're doing our best. Our feet are already soaked, so too bad for the feet. But we are on the way out of the park now. I know the uh, camera's a little fuzzier now, but we have another advertisement for the escape rooms here on the way out in City Walk. It's another Jurassic World advertisement. I thought they would advertise Back to the Future over on this side. But it looks like they're really pushing the uh, Jurassic World. I have to try those escape rooms. They look pretty fun. But yeah, we're on the way out. So yeah, that's going to be the end of today's video. The rainy ending. Um, yeah, we went to the Jurassic World trivia store about four times today. That thing is amazing. That was the main reason we were here today to cover the new addition studios just for the summer though. It's not permanent, but um, it, it's really good. And then we did some rides around the park, showed you some park updates that we noticed. And yeah, a lot of the sanitizers are disappearing from some of the attractions. Like those sanitizers there, I don't know if it, there's a sanitizer on that pillow. Um, in the Men in Black queue and the Velocicoaster queue, they're gone. So it's starting to, um, get rid of the hand sanitizers around the park and yeah they're they're just making little changes around the park yeah stay tuned to my social media if you want to see little details like that that's going on that i leave out of the vlog sometimes because i get photos of it and i post them like twitter instagram make sure you're on my social media that's going to be on uh like i said twitter at ethan hershaft instagram at ethan hershaft and at florida theme park picks and also on tiktok at ethan hershaft that's where you get more updates and uh, more content. My YouTube, I tend to post late on, so you get the more, the most accurate, updated information on those sites. And yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. Definitely, if you uh, enjoyed watching, definitely subscribe. We tried our lo first live stream today. We're gonna do more of those if you guys like that. And yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.